Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Indeed, my friends and beloved in the Lord, it's a joy and a great privilege once again to be here this morning to minister the Word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of the situation in the world. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. As I always say, Jesus says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of the world. It's not a great promise this morning, my friends. It's not a great assurance from the Lord God Almighty which we serve. He says, A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. This morning no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. Every Every coronavirus, in, in every spirit of witchcraft and obia and demonic forces and evil, I destroy from your life. I build a hedge around your life. You are sealed with the blood of Jesus. You are marked with the blood of Jesus. No evil shall touch you and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. My friends also, he said in his words, he says, healing is a children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was a covenant of healing. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Be healed this morning. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Whatever sickness and pain and disease and infirmities and evil you have this morning, I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. By his stripes you are healed this morning. Whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. I'm feeling a tremendous anointing this morning. Hallelujah. I pray, God, you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my voice uh, as I minister your words. Uh, your words will go forth under the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free. Many will come to know thee as Lord and Savior. Praise God. Are you happy this morning? You need to be happy, my friends, because the Bible says the joy of the Lord is thy strength. So maintain your joy if you want to have strength in Jesus' name. This morning, I'm supposed to continue with the WM ministry. I've finished 13 sessions, and I think I'll have to complete 23 sessions. That means 10 more sessions. I was just about to get into the in-depth of the women's ministry studies. Hallelujah. My friends, what I tell you this morning. I'm feeling a prophetic anointing this morning. I operate under the fivefold ministry, and I don't think, uh, I doubt whether I will be able to teach this morning. Hallelujah. But let the Spirit move this morning. But don't worry, you will get your sessions. Hallelujah. It will be completed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shikanama Santo de Biandarava Shikadabin. Ikanama Mama Santo de Biandarava Shikadaba Bayanama Santi. Hallelujah. My friends, uh, the church is the only power that can destroy the works of the devil. I says the church is the only power that can destroy the works of Satan. The works of every darkness will be destroyed through the power of the church. The church needs to be strong. The church needs to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. And God is about to pour in a tremendous anointing. There will be a tremendous outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the churches. And the church will be the only power to destroy the work of darkness. Hallelujah, my friends. Hallelujah. The works of of darkness uh, will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shikanama Santo de Biandarama Shikadabayande. Ikanaba Baba Baba Bayanama Santo de Biande. God promised uh, and God is telling me there is a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit coming to the churches, uh, not in one country, but all the churches around the world. There will be a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 to 19 tells us. Uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 18 to 19 tells us. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, glory be unto God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name and I also say you you that you are Peter and I also say you that you are Peter 
Peter, you are Peter, hallelujah. And I also say on this rock, on this rock, I will build my church on this rock. And that is in his, that is in his himself this morning, hallelujah. I'm speaking about Peter, the chief cornerstone. He says, I will build my church. Peter, you will, he says, I'm the chief cornerstone. Oh, God is speaking this morning, hallelujah. The rock of all ages, the rock of all ages. And he says, Peter, I will build upon this rock uh, the church. I will build the church, uh, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Uh, he says, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the churches. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. Isn't that wonderful, my friends, this morning? Isn't that great this morning? Isn't that awesome this morning? God says he's going to build his church, uh, and the gates of hell. I will give you the keys. He says, I will give you the keys, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Isn't that great this morning? God promised to give us the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. And all the works of darkness will be destroyed. Whatever you bind on earth, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, my friends. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, thank you. You, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. And whatever you loose on water will be loose in heaven. Shikanama Santori Biander Ikana Baba 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 Bayanda Raba Santi will be loose in heaven. Will be loose in heaven. Shikanama Santori Biander Ukana Baba Baba Santi Nebianda. Let's pray this morning. Let's pray and seek the Lord. God is speaking to us this morning. Hallelujah. Satan has sent the demons in hell. Satan has sent the demons in hell. Hell, my friends, Shukura ba Santo de Vienna, Nicara ba 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 ya na na ma Santo de Vienne, Ikura ba 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 Santo de Vienne, Ikara ba ba Santa ra ba ba yanto, and made them the 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 scattered in the whole world. He made the demons angels scattered in the whole world, my friends. But God has a plan. Satan is trembling right now because he know his time is. Shorter. The great numbers of demonic forces and angels are upon this earth. Yes, their goal is to steal, to kill, and to destroy for the thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that we might have life and life more abundantly. That is why God is pouring out his anointing in the church. If you will ask why, what is the reason? You might ask why this morning. And what is the reason? You might say, man of God, what is the reason for all of this? I tell you the truth this morning. Again, here is one, only one simple, specific answer. One simple, specific answer to that question this morning. In the name of Jesus, my friends, oh, the Holy Spirit wants to empower you. The Holy Spirit wants to equip you. Jesus Christ is coming any moment. Any moment Jesus Christ is going to come in the clouds. And the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. And the dead in Christ Jesus is coming at any moment. The trumpet of the Lord shall sound. And the dead in Christ shall rise. And I tell you Satan and the demons know that. I said Satan and the demons know that. They know their time is too short. They know their time is running out and they are trying to bombard as many. They are trying to see how much more they can get to, to go to hell. Any moment, any time Jesus will come. Any moment, any time Jesus will put in his appearance. My friends, are you hearing me this morning? The Lord said three times. The Lord said three times in his word. He says, do not be deceived. 
Do not be deceived this morning. God does not want you to be deceived. The devil is working. I says the devil is working upon this earth. The devil is working and he's pouring out his wrath right now. He's pouring out his wrath and he's trying to grab as many. But I want to tell you he's a roaring lion. Non-stop like a lion. He's just roaring like a lion. He cannot devour you if you are marked with the blood of Jesus. If you are marked with the blood of Jesus. Jesus uh, looking for someone to put in danger. He's looking for someone to put in danger. Looking for someone to put in danger. But if you are marked with the blood of Jesus, uh, if you're sealed with the blood of Jesus, uh, he cannot touch you this morning. He cannot touch you this morning. He cannot devour you this morning. He's looking for someone to devour. He cannot devour you. If you are marked with the blood, my friends, uh, it's time you get serious. Uh, he's looking for someone to put in hell. He see he is not satisfied he wants to put more into hell and the first in the list of Satan for his attack and the first in the list of Satan for his attack this morning my friends is hallelujah shukanama sante de is the church he is attacking the churches today all across the world he is attacking the churches today and the church must be strong and the church must stand strong if you will if you will my friends the church must be strong this morning I says the church must be strong because the church is the only power who can defeat the work of darkness I says the church is the only power who can deceive oh who can de 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 destroy the work of darkness uh, hallelujah who can stop the devil who can stop the devil the church of Christ uh, the body of Christ uh, where the power can stop the devil this morning who can destroy the works of the devil is the church uh, filled with the Holy Spirit uh, is the Holy Ghost church uh, is the Holy Spirit Church uh, is a church with dunamis, uh, is a church with anointing, is a church with the power of God can destroy the works of the devil. That is why it's important uh, for the church to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, what does he is is attack? Uh, why is attacking the church first this morning, my friends? Uh, why is Satan wants to attack the church first? Uh, that's a great question. Why? What? What? Uh, what he does is uh, he attack the church first. Uh, he causes uh, trouble day and night. Uh, he's causing the church uh, trouble day and night, my friends. Uh, and the devil has also mobilized his witches. Uh, I says the devil has also mobilized his witches in the church. Uh, witchcraft witches uh, are in all corners of the church, uh, all across the world, trying to destroy the church to do witchcraft in the church yes they're trying to do witchcraft in the church from their leaders down to the subordinates from their leaders down to the subordinates my friends they're trying to destroy the churches with witchcraft and obia and demonic forces regardless of denomination level this morning witches are working and God is working and I say it's very soon they were going to take out them from the church which stretches because anointing the anointing will come Regardless of coalition name this morning, but I tell you, my friends, uh, they're gonna take them out with stretches from the church. Uh, regardless of the movement name this morning, every church uh, they're gonna take them out with stretches uh, because there will be a great anointing, and God will put a stop to in their tracks. Uh, God will put a stop to it, uh, regardless of religious affiliation. God will put a trust a bit of stop uh, to all the witchcraft workers uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, together with the satanics. My my friends uh, together with the satanic worker it will happen no more because God gonna pour out his anointing in a different measure that these powers uh, can no longer work uh, and the people who are in the place of influence uh, my friends the people who are in the place of influence uh, the poor the power that are positioned to destroy the church uh, God will deal with them hallelujah hallelujah God will deal with them hallelujah praise God no one can touch the church uh, because the church uh, belongs to Christ uh, 
Hallelujah. This is the reason why the church faces, my friends. The church is facing lots of persecution today, lots of trials and testing, though massive persecution in many, many countries. In many countries, Christians are being persecuted, massive persecution. If a devil is having triple time, right now he's having triple time, but he will be cut off very soon. I say he will be cut off very soon in the name of Jesus. He is trying to devour God people and bring them to hell but I tell you if you are marked with the blood you are sealed with the blood he cannot touch you this morning in the name of Jesus the church cannot be stuck up my friends I says the church cannot be stuck up the church need to rise up in power rise up in dunamis rise up in the anointing rise up in God's power filled with the Holy Spirit filled with the Holy Spirit dip in the river of liquid fire of of the Holy Spirit uh, dip in the power of God like in the days of Moa, no, like Moses uh, when the fire was in the burning fiery furnace, uh, dip in the fire oh like with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, you have the fourth man in the fire which is the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we must not uh, we must not just hear the call of God this morning but we must stand up for God, stand up like Shadrach, uh, Meshach and Abednego regardless of the situation, Jesus says I I will be with you always. Hallelujah. I will be with you always to the voice of the Holy Spirit is speaking this morning. The Holy Spirit is speaking this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is in the fact, my friends, is it the truth? We need to stand up like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the burning fiery furnace. This voice of the Holy Spirit speaking this morning. God wants us to stand up for holiness and righteousness. We will not bow to the devil. The church will not bow to the devil the church will stand up uh, because Jesus says it uh, is more than time he had spoken my friends uh, hallelujah God has spoken to us uh, and he says lo I'm with you always I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of the world hallelujah to Asia minor uh, during the time of the apostle John my friends uh, what the Bible tells us uh, what the Bible tells us uh, she can hold who write uh, in the book of Revelation. Uh, John write in the book of Revelation. Hallelujah. He wants the church uh, uh, them to, whom he will marry. He wants the church whom he will marry to be holy and spotless uh, without blame and blemish. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The bride must be prepared. Pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, uh, you must be responsive to his voice today. God wants you to listen to his voice uh, because he is uh, protecting her he is protecting his bride he is protecting the church uh, all across the world all across the world he is protecting the church uh, but sadly my friends uh, sadly I say many people aren't like that today Hallelujah. Many people are not prepared. Many are not prepared. Many are careless with their Christian lives. Many are not strong spiritually. Yes, it's true. They can come in front. Hallelujah. They can come in front. Hallelujah. Every Sunday, Sunday after Sunday, where there is an altar call and they repent. They repent of their sins. They repent. But it's just up to that. I say it's just up to that uh, it's top right there it's top right there but it's time my friends uh, you cannot see the fruit uh, of repentance uh, I says you cannot see the fruit of repentance uh, we must not water down the word and that bothers me a lot this morning and that bother God the Holy Spirit uh, that people are coming week after week uh, what Satan can do is is, is is limited what Satan can do is limited my friends this morning it, it depends, my friends, on what we want him to do, my friends. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
glory be unto God, glory, honor, and praise, and thanks uh, be unto the holy and matchless name. So when we stand up and rise up as a church, uh, I say it's when we stand up uh, and rise up as a church, uh, my friends, uh, when we stand up and rise up as a church, uh, we began to understand, uh, we began to understand that God uh, Hallelujah, we began to understand that God is with us. Hallelujah, the is the absolute judge, my friends. God is the absolute judge this morning, and He's going to judge the world. Hallelujah, and He is the supreme God who has all the control. God has all the control of everything that is happening upon this face of the earth right now in the name of Jesus. Shukudama Sante Ribiande, Ikarabababababayanama Sante Ribiande, to judge everybody. He will be the judge of everyone. He knows whether you're living right or you're living wrong. He knows if you are not fully repentant this morning. Hallelujah. To decide in the, your faith faith this morning hallelujah hallelujah he says you must have faith in him this morning and repent whether they will enter heaven god wants you to enter heaven he wants everyone to enter heaven but you must be repenting uh, be a repentant sinner you must turn from your wicked ways and you must get deeper in the world and be filled with the holy spirit if you will not to control sin if you will not control sin Sin will control you, my friends, and the devil will control you. The devil will make you a laughing stock and a mocking stock. You cannot control your loved ones who sin. If you cannot control your loved one who sin this morning, Hallelujah. What are you doing if you cannot control your loved one who sin? Listen, my friends, how can you control the church? Sin and your loved ones who sin you cannot control. How can you control the church if you cannot control your simple loved ones? Your immediate family will control you. How can you control the church? The Lord said to me yesterday when I was praying, Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah when I was praying hallelujah hallelujah we must value our souls more now than ever God wants to value our souls more now than ever do you value your soul my friends this morning do you value your soul my friends we must value our soul God wants us to value our soul we must fight for it you must fight for your soul the devil wants to destroy your soul and body we we must fear the one who can destroy both body, soul, and spirit. And we must stand up for him. We must go deeper in our relationship with God. God is calling us to deeper walk, deeper life, deeper relationship with him. Because he's coming very soon. The Lord wants us to, to be obedient, to, be, to live in obedience. Are you living in obedience this morning? Are you living no matter what uh, we are feeling, my friends? Uh, you must live in obedience to God. God wants us to be obedient. Uh, he says to obey is better than sacrifice, uh, than to hearken unto the fat of rams and bulls. Uh, we must value it more than money this morning. We must value it more than money. We must value our souls. Uh, we must truly value one and only our soul, my friends. Uh, value your soul more than money don't give your soul for money money will be destroyed but my friends your soul will destroy in hell in this end time in this end time we must uh, make sure in this end time my friends uh, we must make sure that when the trumpet of the angels sung when the trumpet of the lord sung hallelujah shikara of the lord songs uh, we will all get out of here we will all get out of here out of of here my friends Shikanama Santa Rabayande I only have one goal this morning I says I only have one goal do you have one goal and that is to assure my friends that is to assure your commitment to God is undying undying is your commitment to God undying this morning is your commitment to God undying oh my friends in many countries like North Korea 
hallelujah and Iran and many other places my friends if you are Christian especially in China in communist country you have to hide and serve the Lord if you're saved in Iran you have to hide and serve the Lord in Saudi Arabia if you're saved you have to hide and serve the Lord in certain parts in India if you're saved you have to hide and serve the Lord they they that receive Jesus, it means death. They that receive Jesus, it means death for many, my friends. It means death for many. Shukanama Santo de Vianaraba Shikarabayande Ura Baba 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 and they are willing, my friends, and able to die for Christ. Many are willing and able to die for Christ because they value their soul. They do not want their soul to go to hell. They know that the acceptance of Jesus, they know the acceptance of Jesus means physical death, death of the body, death of the body. But my friends, for communism, to Christianity, it means death, it means death, my friends. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shikanama Sante de Viende, Uda Baba 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 Yanama Sante de Viende. But they keep accepting Jesus. I say in these communist countries like Iran and China and North Korea, but they keep accepting Jesus. But they keep accepting Jesus because they do not fear what man can do to the body as long they cannot destroy the soul. Hallelujah, my friends. Hallelujah. They know that it will cost their lives but they don't care for their lives they care for their soul they want their souls to be preserved they want uh, they want uh, if they get caught uh, they will be killed they will be beheaded they will be killed some way or the other somehow or the other but they are not afraid they are not afraid my friends of the physical death they are not afraid of the physical death of the body because they value the soul they still accept Jesus Christ <coughs> hallelujah I say this still accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior hallelujah 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 now question this morning now the question comes this morning hallelujah look at the sacrifice these people are making in this country who oh, I will force ask Jesus is our shield this morning Jesus is our shield and our protector Jesus promised us to be our shield and protector and next in the church and next in the church around Around the world, around the world, my friends, the churches around the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Who do, who, what does that mean to you to accept Jesus? What does it mean to accept? To do for us to accept Jesus this morning. What does it mean to you to accept Jesus this morning, my friends? What does it mean to you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? What this morning? What uh, I ask the question. What does it means? What my friends this morning? Ekanama Sunday. They are the two. They are the people, my friends, who then a uh, rapture take place later. When the rapture take place later, will enter heaven. Will enter heaven. When the rapture take place, uh, they will enter heaven for sure, my friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their souls will be secure their souls will be saved they have forgotten their job they have forgotten their job they have forgotten their property they have forgotten their business they have forgotten their, their families they have forgotten everything or they have forgotten their businesses my friends hallelujah shikanama sante they have forgotten their studies. Hallelujah. Shikanama Santo Ebiende. Their boyfriend and girlfriend and many more things. They have forgotten every 
everything. Hallelujah. Shuna mama santo de biende. Ukada ba 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 ya na na mama santo de biende. Ekada ba santo de bi ya na na mama shikari ya na ba sande. Uta ba 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 ya na na ba sante de bi shikada ba ya ne. In the name of Jesus, because of so much longing for God, I says because of so much longing for God. Ah, uh, you have a longing for God, or you still attached to this world. Be not conformed to the world, but be renewed and transformed in your mind. Live in the Word. If these people, my friends, if these people, my friends, who have made so much of sacrifice this morning, Hallelujah, have shown great commitment to the Lord. They have shown great commitment to the Lord. Are you showing great commitment to the Lord in a country that is is not free? People are showing commitment to the Lord. What about the country <coughs> that is free this morning? What about you? You are playing wrong with your salvation. You are playing wrong with your soul. And their acceptance uh, to Jesus means death uh, in this communist country. Their acceptance of Jesus Christ uh, means death uh, in, in China, in North Korea, in Saudi Arabia, and all these countries. Uh, how about us in the country that is free this morning? That's a great question. How about us in the countries that are free this morning? Why are we just going to flow like that are uh, we just going to flow like that uh, and live careless life uh, and accept to uh, uh, accept uh, to be in the rapture that that uh, and when you expect uh, or to be no hallelujah shikanama son to the bnd your answer you answer the question this morning you want to live a loose life. You want to live a sinful life. You want to commit sin week after week and go at the altar and repent and over and over again. You are going to run here with determination this morning. Hallelujah. God wants you to run with determination. <coughs> Hallelujah. With determination and say, Hallelujah. God wants you to say, I'm willing to be changed. Are you willing to be changed? Are you willing to surrender your life fully? Are you willing to make that true change in your life? And let God, the Holy Spirit, fill you, my friends, and prepare you for the rapture. I don't say walker, or I look to the left, or look to the right. Don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at the person sitting next to you, or right, or in front of you. But make that decision. Are you right with the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. If you haven't uh, run for that decision this morning, make that decision. Make sure your life is right uh, this morning because the coming of the Lord is nearer than you can believe. It is coming. is around the corner. Hallelujah. The church is the only power who can destroy the works of the devil, my friends. Uh, and if you're not filled with the power of God, you will not be able to fight against the works of the devil. There is no other power but only the church today is the church strong is the church full of dunamis is the church full of the anointing is the church filled with the holy spirit hallelujah 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 shikanama santo de God is calling, God is calling the church, we must chase the devil, we must destroy the devil, as the people enter the doors of the church, they will be healed, they will be saved, they will be delivered, they will come in without eyes, and eyes going to pop into the socket, they will come in without the limbs, and limbs going to grow right in front of everybody, they will come in without arms, and it will grow literally, we are going to see the miraculous, the lame will walk, and the blind will see, because the power of God will be strong the devil will be destroyed my friends we have to destroy the camp of the devil we have to stretch our hands and destroy the works of darkness through the power of the Holy Spirit church God wants you to wake up there will be a great outpouring are you ready hallelujah Heavenly Father, I ask you this morning, I ask you this morning, Father, pour out your fire from heaven, pour out your fire from heaven, pour out the fire from heaven upon our lives, upon the church body, individually, pour out the fire upon our lives. The fullness of the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the spirit of boldness come upon us. Let the spirit of boldness come upon the church all across the world. Let the spirit of boldness 
Jesus. Come upon the churches. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. To destroy every bondage and destroy every yoke and destroy every works of darkness. So, oh God, that we, that we fear no more. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind this morning. Do you have a sound mind this morning? Do you have a spirit of fear? We must preach the word without fear and favor. Hallelujah. We must preach the word with boldness and courage without fear and favor this morning. Are you hearing the man of God this morning? Pour out the spirit of might, O oh Lord. Pour out the spirit of might. Pour out the spirit of might upon your people this morning. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of counsel, pour out the spirit of counsel, pour out the spirit of counsel upon thy people, pour out the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of wisdom and the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon thy people this morning. In the name of Jesus, pour out, Lord, pour out the spirit of boldness, let the spirit of boldness come upon thy people all across the world all across the world in the churches all across the world the spirit of courage pour out the spirit of courage to that people in the churches all across the world the spirit of courage let it come pour out the Holy Spirit in the fullness hallelujah anoint that people with the power of the Holy Spirit and you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon thee and you shall perform the miraculous heal the sick and raise the dead and make a limb walk and blind see and perform the miraculous lift your hands and praise him this morning lift your hands and receive it receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit God will not withhold the anointing of the Holy Spirit if you ask him today ask and he shall receive that your joy might be filled ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit my friends empty yourself from every unforgiveness from every resentment and every unseen, every uh, every every hidden sin this morning, and ask God to pour His anointing upon you, and surely He's gonna pour His anointing of the Holy Spirit. He's gonna baptize you this morning with the Holy Spirit. You're gonna be filled this morning and start speaking in tongues. God wants to fill His church before His coming. Jesus. Christ is coming back for a healed church. He's coming back for a saved church. If you're not healed, you'll be healed this morning. Hallelujah. You will be healed this morning. You will be delivered this morning. You will be set free this morning. Hallelujah. You will be set free from every work of darkness this morning in the name of Jesus. Every evil I destroy under the blood of Jesus. I destroy every satanic forces and every attack against the churches in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the people of God will rise up with boldness, with Courage with wisdom, with understanding, full of dunamis and full of the anointing to destroy the works of darkness. Hallelujah! The angel of God is here this morning. Smash, smash what has erected that is not of God this morning. Smash that what that is that what is erected that is not of God this morning, my friends. Hallelujah! Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Shikanama Santo de the almighty hands of God be against every worker of satanic force against the churches. Hallelujah. Especially what is happening in China, communist China, and Iran, and Saudi Arabia, and in India. Whatever is happening, destroy every works of darkness and let the people come to know thee as Lord and Savior. For you said in your words, you're not willing willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance for you came into the world not to condemn the world but the world through you might be saved he says come now and let us reason together said the Lord though your sins be as scarlet it shall be white as snow though it be like crimson it shall be as wool my friends God is 
speaking to the nations. God, God, the Lord is speaking to the nations all across the world and he wants to reason with you to come to him because time is running out. Time is running out and he's coming very soon. The Antichrist is already in this world. He's, I'm calling, he says, I'm calling the body of Christ once again. He says, I'm calling the body of Christ once again to join us in prayer. Join us in prayer and fasting. Join us in prayer and fasting for the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we declare war against the devil. As we declare war against Satan, that he will lose his bonds upon his people, upon God's people. Hallelujah. God loves you, my friends. Hallelujah. Concerning every country, uh, borders will be open. The people will get a chance to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. My friends, it's time the church wake up and take its rightful place. It's time this church start walking in the power and the anointing of God. Stop playing church. Stop playing church and rise up in the power and the anointing of God. The churches today are weaker, weaker. Weak and weak and weak, says the Lord, because the churches, many members are not filled with the Spirit of God. Many members are not baptized with the Spirit and the anointing of God. On the day of Pentecost, when the 120 were in the upper room, when Peter received the flame of fire and the anointing, he preached one sermon and 3,000 souls got saved. My friends, they came out with dunamis. They came came out with power. He, told, he turned to the blind man, the lame man at the gate beautiful and he says silver and gold have I none but such as I have give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. God wants the church to have that kind of power today that when you come out of the churches and you see the lame they need to be walking. Hallelujah. You need to perform the miraculous. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It's time the churches wake up, my friends. It's time the churches come to life in the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. My friends, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'll continue. Praise God. Father God, I give you praise this morning and I thank you for your love. I thank you this morning for speaking to us through your words of the Holy Spirit. And tomorrow I do not know what will happen, but I will go according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. I thank you for the prophetic words to the church today that you want the church to rise up in dunamis and in the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. For you says there is a great outpouring coming to the churches all across the world and I pray that the churches will be ready and prepared to receive and to go to a next level in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God my friends this morning. It truly it has been a joy and great privilege to be here this morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that you have a wonderful day. Remember I love you in the love of God. I'll see you tomorrow in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Praise God.